Hello and welcome to another practice session. Today we are going to practice NAT type questions which are super important for IIT JAM. And in the last moment, if you are wondering that where to practice NAT question, you have come to the right place. So in this last moment, revising concept is important, but practicing NAT and solving NAT is really going to change your game. It might boost your rank, so stay tuned till the end. All of these NAT questions are based on previous year questions, so you can count on me and it would be very beneficial for you guys. Before we start the video, I have a quick announcement to make and then we'll jump into four NAT type of questions and try to solve them. So Unacademy is organizing an All India mock test which is starting, from, starting um, at 30th Jan. This would be a mock test for all the subjects including biotechnology. It would be from 11 am. It is a 180 minute test. You can enroll for free. You would get all the links in the description box. You just need to download the app and click on the link. You don't need an Unacademy subscription to take this test. You can use my code AP10 to get a, uh, get a free uh, registration for this test. So don't wait, register right now. Now, if you do very good in this test, you can win an Amazon voucher worth rupees 60K. That's a lot. Anyway, enroll right now. So if you're wondering that what to practice in the last moment, let me tell you, I have a bunch of videos that would be really beneficial for your preparation and you can really watch all of them within a week. So all the uh, links are provided in the description. Don't forget to watch those videos. All of them are free. No, no subscription charge is required. Now in the Republic Day special, there is an offer for six month extension. But wait a second, the offer is only valid if you take a subscription for one year or more. So if you are a second year student right now, willing to take JAM in the next coming year, then it's a good offer for you. If you are thinking of dropping one year and repeating next year, then it's also a good offer for you. And if you're a first year student and willing to take two years of subscription, then this is the correct time. You can use my code AP10 to get a usual 10% discount, but along with it, you are going to get a six months extension. That's a lot of money and that's a very nice thing for you guys. So register right now. Okay, question number one. How many singlet picks would be observed for the following compound in H1 NMR? So look at the following compound and try to calculate the number of singlet picks. Okay, you might pause the video and try to answer this question. If you have answered it correctly, the total number of picks that would be observed in this following compound is basically two because there are two different type of chemically uh, distinct hydrogen which are labeled as A and B. Now, the number of singlet picks would be also two because if we look at the splitting of the peaks, so you can understand here there are how many number of singlet peak? There are two singlet peak which is possible for this particular compound. Okay, question number two. In a Maldi-Toff spectrum, uh, spectrometer, mass spectrometer, the calculated time of flight was found to be like two millisecond. The M by Z ratio or mass by charge ratio is 50. What would be the mass of, mass of the peptide um, having a charge of two units total? It's a tricky question. So the information about time of flight is totally irrelevant here. M by Z ratio is 50, Z or the charge is two. So obviously mass would be 100 units. It's very easy. Question number three, CT value in a QPCR, QPCR means the cycle at which fluorescent intensity reach, the, reach beyond the threshold. In case of a gene, the CT value was 10. How many DNA molecule would be produced at this point, provided your starting material has 10,000 cDNA molecule? So the question is after 10 cycle, how many molecules would be produced? So generically, you can use any uh, exponential equation like this for the PCR, nt equal to n0 into 2 to the power n, where n0 is the starting material and small n is basically the number of PCR cycle. You can plug in all the values and you would ultimately get the answer 1024 into 10 to the power 6 and that much number of molecule you are going to get. Okay, the last question of the day. This is also a very tricky question and take a uh, and try to solve this question. If 70% of the light is transmitted through a protein sample, 
then the absorption uh, sorry absorbance of the solution is dash so the correct answer is 14 percent absorbance is equal to log into 1 by transmittance here the transmittance is 0 0.7 and if you plug in the values, it would be log 1 by 0.7. So the correct answer would be 0.14 or the percentage value would be 14%. Uh, the common mistake you guys do is like 70% is transmitted. So 30% is absorbed, but that's not the absorbance. Okay. So this is a common mistake that people make. So uh, always uh, keep these formulas in mind. So I hope this session was useful. You can get more notes and flashcards in my Facebook page. Link is provided in the description as usual. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Follow me. Uh, su support me on Patreon and you can also support me with Bhim UPI app. My courses are there. Would be beneficial if you take this subscription. You can use my code AP10 to unlock all the free classes. Also many other examinations that I always post. See you in the next time.